All right, so I just got here to Guadalajara, Mexico. First stop when you come to Mexico, 7-Eleven. And I'm here with Carla, but I'm gonna go in here and see what's the difference here in Mexico in their 7-Elevens. I'm shocked that the first thing I'm seeing is onigiri. I would have never thought I would see this. So if you don't know, this is a Japanese snack, onigiri. It's rice and seaweed. And just like in Japan, they have the little pull tab and everything. I was joking to Carla that I didn't think we we're gonna see a basket. I don't even think we have basket. And like, is it the only, it's literally the only one. Like, it's just there for decoration, but we're definitely gonna need it. Okay, back to the food. 7-Eleven pizzas? Oh yeah, microwave. I would totally put that in the oven. They've got these apples and limes, but hey, need some limes for your Corona, they got you. They do have sandwiches similar to Japan. I think in the States we have sandwiches too, but. It's a lot of the pollo. What is that? It's chicken salad. Chicken salad? But what's the orange stuff? Those are carrots and potatoes. Oh, carrots. See, we yeah. don't put carrots in our uh, salads. Yeah, we put carrots, potatoes, and peas sometimes. Ah, there you go. That's a little bit different. Okay, so of course, taquitos. Now, why are you laughing? <laughs> we hate those. You hate them? Yeah. Oh, you hate them? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so in the States, it's really popular to have taquitos in 7-Elevens. Yeah, like this whole thing is a very normal thing, but you're saying this is not common? Yeah, no. But for whatever reason, they've got it. So of course we've got hot dogs. They have one hot dog there and one taquito, but normally in the States, this thing would be loaded up. Carla, would you ever eat that last hot dog or that last taquito? Would you ever eat it? I mean, if I'm starving and there's nothing else to eat? Yeah. Probably. Okay, all right. So. There you go, a taquito bite. I found some queso over here. Oaxaca, this is the one I use for queso, nacho cheese, uh, Oaxaca cheese. Is this what people use when they make uh, like melted cheese? For, like for, for dipping? We would use it for like, I mean, we don't use it for dipping. Uh -huh. We use it for, for like making quesadillas. I okay, we, got we it. We have it quesadillas and we usually use it oh, oh. Strawberry milk, apple milk. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a, a yogurt drink, maybe? Are these, oh, these are all yogurt drinks? Yeah, those are yogurt drinks. This okay. Apple, pear. Yeah, maybe a peach yogurt drink, too. If you didn't have a nacho cheese machine in your 7-Eleven, it's like, why are you even there? Okay, so this is very normal. Obviously, they have it. It looks like they're not really keeping up on the toppings, but they've got some jalapenos. Hey, that's not sour cream, is it? Okay, it so, used to be. Oh, it used yeah, to be. Okay, yeah, so it's sour dogs. cream. And then some onions. Oh, for the hot dogs. We would put that on our nachos. Oh, we put that on hot dogs. Okay, yeah. weird. Okay, so that's different. That is different. Okay, all right. I'm here for it. We have barely even walk through this store we're, we're like not even eight feet in and i've already seen so many fascinating things i thought it was going to be just like the states but no it's 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 a little bit different there's obviously similarities but uh, one thing that is interesting and i noticed this in other people's videos you guys have a lot of coca-cola yeah i mean like literally from the ground all the way to the top it's the all... foundation of our <laughs> yeah a lot of coca-cola so we also have coca-cola but we don't have this many shelves yeah, yeah. And I see that you've also got Pepsi. Not very common. Yeah, but right there. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone. Look out, that thing is tall. Is that three liters or yeah, 2.5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.5 liters. Okay, yes. that, it's funny how tall that is. Just to give you an idea, I mean, look how freaking gigantic that is. That is 2.5 liters. So that's 0.5 liters more than us. What is this, Aguas Fresca? Oh, that's like uh, water with a little bit of... Flour? Tea? Yeah, tea, like tea. Ah, interesting. Do you have Snapple here? Have you heard of Snapple? I've heard of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have it, but it's not like the most common thing. You, you can know, find it. But... You know, one thing that I've never seen in the States is Tobo Chico, just sold just like that. Let me know if you've seen Tobo Chico at 7 Eleven. I've never seen it. And then they've got some juices apple, lemon, or lime mango oh are these sodas oh yeah these are fruit sodas so these are the different coffee options they've got this is a common thing i'm seeing in a lot of other countries boxed drinks shelf stable um, milk is this milk right here yeah that's milk now if you took that milk and put it on a shelf is that okay or do you have to refrigerate this that one it's okay the oh ones that one's okay like in a carton, in a carton? Yeah. yeah yeah this one's that one's fresh right okay so this is their dairy right here 
that's one thing in America that's unusual. We don't really have shelf stable milk or it's it's unusual. But in a lot of other countries, it's kind of a normal thing. Clamato, so this is new for me. Is this three different flavors, Carla? Yeah, this, the first one, uh -huh. the blue one is the original. Yeah. And the one that says Cubano, that has more like- Spice, sauces, more okay, spice yeah. And the other one- Seafood. Yeah, it has kind of like seafood eggs. Got it. So that's for hangovers. So, so if you, okay. oh, for hangovers, yeah. okay. So we know what Carla does on the weekend. She's hey. like, okay. <laughs> Funny like, enough, even though we don't have, I've never really seen Tobo Chico's, but we do have this. This is- The seltzer? Yeah, the Tobo Chico seltzers. This is becoming a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in the States, but obviously you would have Topo Chico seltzers here. I'm pretty sure we have it, but it's not something I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola, already pre-mixed. <laughs> Modelo, Corona, plenty of beers, ones that you probably recognize, Pacifico. But then Carla said this is their craft beers. In fact, this is actually what I wanted to try at one point because I love craft beers. Okay, let's look at these prices though. This, is, this seems like pretty good price. What is that? So this yeah. is what, uh, tell me which one of these are a craft beer that you would recommend? All Minervas okay, cool. are, are brewed locally. So 47 pesos? Good, yeah. How much does that equate to US Two dollars. dollars. Okay. Two bucks? Yeah, almost three bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's, Still pretty expensive compared yeah. to what? Let's see to how the much. Normal ones, yeah. Let's see this. Wait, wait, wait. Twenty four fifty for one. Is it twenty four fifty for one? Yeah. Oh, got it. So half the price. Of course, lots of spicy chips. Like this, a medley of chips. What's this called? Take Taxo. A pocket Taxo. I don't know if you saw my vlog from the other day, but there was a Costco that had this Sabre Tones. Sabre Tones. Yeah, at Costco, like a huge really? bag. Where's the, so where's Salvador It's on the other side. Other side. Yeah. <laughs> Ruffles queso, see, look, queso. Like people would love that right there, that <laughs> flavor right there. Yeah, she's laughing because <clears throat> we, we found queso with a Z and uh, it was just entertaining. So I do have a question for you. Yeah. Flamin' Hot, that was invented in the United States. Yes. Okay, did that become that a big sense. thing here? Yeah. Yeah, afterwards? Yes. Did it take a while or was it immediate? I'm not sure how long it took, okay. but yeah, Flaming Hot is uh, like a huge thing here. What is this? That, this dish? Yeah. That is our chili. Okay. That is like uh, our kind of seafood. But but it's the chips are seafood. look like this though, right? Yeah, the chips are this, Tostitos. Yeah, oh, they're Tostitos. Bread. Wow. Oh, they're right there underneath. Oh, so do you put all those ingredients on this, on the flaming Hot Tostitos. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that our chili is already spicy. So okay, it's the spicy shrimp on top of got the it. spicy extra I've never seen tostitos. anything like that before. Flamin' Hot Crujiente. Receta Crujiente. What's that? That's like crunchy recipe. Oh. Like the fake version of Flamin'. And Flamin' Hot's taken over. Yeah, we have a whole shelf. Cheetos. Um, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they're regular. Here, put, the, put that in there. So, yep. Since we'll I dropped it. Yeah, we'll give those such a... <laughs> um, is this Cheetos? Yeah, those are Cheetos. Why is this saying Nueva Imagen? Because uh, the Flaming Hot Cheeto yeah, yeah. bag used to be all yellow. Yeah. And since it's a Flaming Hot, they put the purple on it. To identify oh, it. got it. Were, people were getting confused because of they, were, or they were yellow. Yes, so yes. Were, oh, not spicy at oh, all. Oh, got it, Their got it. Will get, like, sick. Oh, really? <laughs> Sad. Okay, of course, this is normal. Flame hat. I will tell you this, Carla. I'm not impressed with how many chips are in here. I know. It's, it's, I mean, not only, I mean, it's like that in the States, but they make the bag so tall. I'm yep. not kidding you guys. From here to here, there's literally nothing in this. It's called shrinkflation. Shrinkflation. Okay, now this. What is this? Takis Blue Heat? Yeah, I've never tried those. This will turn your mouth blue, I have a yes. feeling. Right? Yes. You've seen kids with blue mouth? Okay, it's a thing? Okay, there you go. Do you ever eat flaming Hot Cheetos? Yes. After you eat flaming Hot Cheetos, you know your fingers turn red? Yeah. 
Do you lick your fingers or you wash your fingers? Oh, I lick my fingers. Yeah, everyone, like, tell me in the comments, <laughs> do you lick or do you wash? I know that's a weird question, but... Do you have those? We do not have, well, corn nuts. Corn. We do have corn nuts, but we, I've never seen 7-Eleven uh, brand before. One thing that's just different about Mexico, you guys have a lot of spicy options, like a, a ton, and I love spicy, but wait, 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 wait. Look, Japonese, that's from Japan. Yeah. It's like that, what is that? Like uh, pe uh, like it's breading peanuts? covered peanuts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We call that Japonese. Japonese, because in Japan they sell it. Oh, really? Yeah, this, oh, this exact go. thing. More Japanese with lemon. In Japan, I don't think you would find the lemon flavor. They wouldn't, it's just like yeah, regular. You flavor, it, you flavor it. Yeah, it's either a spice or a lime. Typically the ice cream selection is way bigger in both the States and Japan. This is just a kind of small cooler. It might be because it's a smaller 7-Eleven. I think it's banana ice cream covered in chocolate. Some lady staring at me now. Yeah. She is? <laughs> yeah, but you're okay. <laughs> and there's more. I thought we were at the end. So now we're going to be here for another 10 more minutes because we can hide back here because we're getting stairs. Okay, so, hey, noodles, full duck. Is this a popular brand? I've only seen them in seven minutes. Oh, interesting. Or like Asian stuff. Okay, look at this. I was just joking about spice and no, not only is it spicy, Carla, lime too. Oh, of course. Spice and lime. Of course. Flamas Limon. I'm really just gonna buy this because it's so fun. I know Cedric's gonna like, love these. I might actually bring this home too. Who knows, I might eat it. What is this? What is that? Oh, tortillas. Okay. Fresh from we the do, day. We do not have this. This is cool. Probably out, yes. But okay. this time of day, yeah. the tortillas are gonna be out everywhere. Got it. Okay, so that's cool. Fresh tortillas, we don't have that. Instant, instant pozole. Carla's saying that is kind of new, but you know what is definitely, definitely very Mexican right here? Sabor a queso. Cheese ramen. I've never seen just the cheese. I've seen cheese with other flavors, but never just cheese on its own. So of course they've got all the convenience store normal things canned foods ingredients or recipes nothing unusual here or different that i can see oh this is kind of different cereal in a bag oh yeah do you guys have cereal in a box yeah why do you think they sell it here just because it's cheaper yeah that way? It's, in, it's more convenient yeah for sure because the lighter like grab and go, yeah. oh grab and go or or yeah or in our case um stay and look <laughs> around Okay, corn bombs. <laughs> Chocolate Krispies. Okay, what is this? Sugaros. Is this kind of like, um, they're great. What is that? That. Yeah, okay, sugaros, okay, right? got it. Yeah, but I don't see the tiger on there. Oh, we, Mexico banned all animals. Why? All, like characters on food because. The it, kids? Because of the kids. Oh, interesting. Because they make huh. kids eat more. Got it. Oh, those those things. Manzana canela. I won't see them. Interesting. So there you go. You learned something today. No animals, no characters, but I don't know, Carla. We might have to call them out. I see a little rooster, the right, rooster there. right there. What's going on, cornflakes? Don't you know the rules? I'm seeing something that at first I thought oh, it was just a different colored bottle. Why is that pink? It's just a branding. Okay, then it's nothing. I thought it was like flavored water. Oh no. Okay. Water. So like, what is this saying over here? Oh, it's telling you what not to do? Yeah, with, okay. the, with the bottle. Okay, interesting. They've got all these donut packs, baked goods, cakes. Uh, normally, this brand, it'd be called Hostess. Hostess, that's the okay. brand, but here it's called Bimbo. Bimbo means bear. No, we don't have him. Oh, you can't put the bear on there for the kids. Tia Rosa, this is some buns. Oh, wait, is that a croissant? That's a croissant, yeah. And of course, conchas. Oh, conchas, yeah. we. I don't think we have that at 7-Eleven. I've seen it before, of course. And then you got sliced bread here. These are taco shells? Tostados. Tostada shells. Oh, duh. It literally says it on their tostada shells. Okay. It wouldn't be a 7-Eleven without the coffee machine. I'm not going to get coffee because I actually already had some. Chocolate Mexicano. Why, why is it chocolate Mexicano? Because we, uh, we put like spices. Like okay, got it, got it. 
Look at this cappuccino. I know. Churro. Churro. Look at that. You see how it's shining? It's just pulling you in. The churro coffee. Dolce Tradition. Standard donuts. Looks the same as donuts in the States. Um, it's been a while since I've been to 7-Eleven, but they actually have a cold brew machine. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a cold brew machine before. Hey, what is this? A Vellana? Um, um, hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut Milky Way. That That's different. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah, we got almond um, Snickers. You don't see that often in the States. Della Rosa. I'm very familiar with that. I think Filipinos have a similar thing. Hey, didn't you buy this for us? The yeah, chocolate I've covered ones? Yeah, this yeah. With the chocolate covered ones. There's certain things I grew up with as a kid, and I think this is one of them. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, so there was always an ice cream man that would come to the neighborhood, and we would just wait on the corner, and they would sell us Mexican candy, and this is one of them, because you push it, yeah. and isn't it kind of spicy? Yeah. It's like a spicy it's goo. Tamarind. A tamarind thing. This is nostalgic right here. I almost have to buy this for my kids right here. Shout out to all the kids from San Diego. You remember the ice cream man? They were the best in SoCal. Is there no limit? Spicy lollipop. <laughs> I'm just gonna get it because that's so cool and different. Carla said I have to get this. This is an orange tequila mix. Yeah, don't smash any of your uh, things there. There we go. Grapefruit, orange, lime. Ooh, and tequila. Okay, there you go. Since the last time I was here, everything got kind of organized. Have you noticed there's no other carts? They just put a random basket yeah, there. I do, you, do you think I've used this basket more than anybody, anybody in the history in the of 7-Eleven? Yeah. yeah. And know. no one's ever even filled it up this much too. Yeah. So hopefully they appreciate my business. <laughs> um, all I have to say is this. This has been a really cool experience. Uh, I, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be more similar to the States because we have so many Mexican people. Com completely different, which I should have expected. A lot of surprises and I'm very grateful for the person running this that let me walk around here and vlog all of it. We're letting this other guy go because he got literally four things and I've got this whole basket. I feel like I should just give him a hundred dollar bill for all this, like for the trouble. because. Everyone's lined up, seriously, it's gonna take forever. So just out of respect, I'm letting everybody else check out right now because I have that whole basket, which is probably gonna take at least three or four minutes. There's people that have literally three or four things to be out of here in 30 seconds. And I said, but Carla, I did see that second person. I wonder if we should grab them. And then she said, there's a thing about the second person. What's the thing? It's, uh, it's, it's like a phantom thing. There's always like two or three yeah. like checkout yeah. places. Yeah and there's always just one working oh even got it even though there's more people yeah. in the store and it can be like a 10 people line yeah yeah but there will only be one person that's so crazy so it's a job. real thing because we're experiencing right now and hey i'm not complaining i just want to make sure other people get on with their night the second and third person are nowhere to be seen like i don't even see them anywhere i hear something going on in the back there's three check stands here right now he legit had to like bring out a package of bags for us because it doesn't look like it's very common to use bags here at the 7-Eleven. Do you think they brought these bags out just for us? <laughs> because I, she like I, had I, to dust off that package. I and didn't look, think of it, but now that you mentioned it. I think they grabbed it from the back just for us and there was a line afterwards. But hey, 7-Eleven in Mexico, that was a cool experience. Now to go try this tequila and um, spicy everything. Literally spicy everything. Spicy chips, spicy ramen, spicy candy. So Carla says I have to try this right here. New Mix by Himador, El Himador. This is an orange grapefruit and lime drink mixed with tequila. It's called Cantarito. Mmm. Wow, you wouldn't even know there's tequila. You could get really drunk off this. It's like fruit punch, yeah, those like dangerous. citrus fruit punch sweet this for me would be great over ice i would put this over ice by the way the the whole bill for that whole basket which was quite a bit of food we didn't buy any food food snacks but so 32 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks yeah 30 dollars so there you go you know i am kind of bummed i didn't buy that onigiri now 
I should have at least just tried one, but I just don't like wasting food and I'm saving my appetite for tacos, so. Mm. There you go.